Hey guys, welcome back. Now unfortunately we're all done with the torture test series, so that means we're not going to be blowing anything up today. But that doesn't mean we still can't check out some cool new LEDs, right? Now I've had a lot of people ask me about doing reviews on these little pods. You know, I do a lot of reviews on the bigger light bars, you know, big 50 inches, 42 inches, things like that. But, you know, not everybody has a vehicle that you can mount a big 50 inch on the roof. Or, you know, maybe you do have a truck and you just don't want a big 50 inch on the, you know, up on the roof. So, you know, people have asked me about checking out these little pods. And like I said before, I don't really have much say over, you know, what they send me to check out. But, you know, if I get a chance to do it, I'll do it for you guys. So here we go. We got these pods. We got two sets of two 4 inch 18 watt pods. They're pre-LEDs, 3 watt LEDs in them. And uh, we're going to go ahead and check these things out and see how much light we can get out of these little pods. Like I said, you know, maybe you, maybe you don't want a big old monster light bar, but you still want some extra light. And for a really cheap price, too. Right now, these things are on sale on Oxbeam's Amazon website, on their store, rather. And uh, these things are so cheap right now. Um, when I first bought my first set of these pods, I bought a pair of them off of eBay about two years ago. Put them on my razor. And back then... I paid over $50 for a pair of these pods. Yeah, that was when they were pretty new to the market, you know. Now everybody's flooding the market with these things. The prices have come way down, and I mean, these things are cheap. Right now, you can pick these up on Oxbeam's Amazon store for $17.88, I believe. I mean, that, that's cheap. They're on sale, like I said. I'm not exactly sure what the regular price is, but, you know, for that price, like a buddy of mine once said, you can't afford not to have a set of these things for that price, right? So. We're gonna go ahead and check these out to see how much light we can really get out of them. Now what I might do with these, I thought about putting a pair of them on the front of my Tahoe and maybe putting a pair on the back for backup lights. So my Tahoe's got really dark tinted windows and it's a real pain in the butt to see behind you in the dark, especially if you're pulling a trailer, you know, you're trying to back up a trailer or, you know, you just want to look back and make sure, you know, your razor, your four wheeler is still secured and you can't see anything through the dark windows. So I'm thinking of putting some of these on my back bumper, you know, that way, you want to check your load, you know, you flip on your switch, you make sure your whatever you're hauling is secure, or just backing up in the dark, you know, who could use some extra light. But what we're going to do for the video is I'm going to go ahead and test out what we can do with four of these things. Now the advantage of having four little pods versus one big light bar, you know, a big light bar, you can aim it up and down, that's pretty much it. With these, we could have a couple straight ahead, we could have a couple over towards the ditches, you know, give you a nice wide, nice wide uh, beam of light. So, you know, these things might have some good advantages to having uh, four pods as opposed to one, you know, smaller light bar. So, we're going to go ahead and test that out and uh, maybe I'll make a little something to mount these on and we'll aim them in different directions and check it out in the dark, see how much light we can get out of these babies. Alright, let's take a closer look at these things. Like I said, they are a four inch light pod and they use three watt Cree LEDs, so they're 18 watts a piece. And these are spot beam light pods here. You can buy the flood beam also, it's the exact same light bar, light pod rather, only it comes with the uh, the flood style reflectors. But these are the spot beam. And uh, yeah, looking these things over, they look really nice. And they got a really nice finish. Looks like they're really well made. Good looking little pods. So they definitely look good on whatever you put them on. So that's cool. I've got one kind of mocked together down here just so you can see how this adjustment works. Now this little base, you can loosen up the bolt, and that is adjustable side to side. You know, in case you need to mount it a little off center for some reason. You know, maybe you're mounting it in a tight spot, you can't get it right in the center. You can move that over, give you more options. And then you got your lot of range here for up and down. So you can aim it real well. Real nice adjustability. So, pretty good looking pods. We just got to uh, go ahead and get them mounted up on something and see how much light we can get out of these little guys after dark. All right, now like I said, I plan on putting a couple of these on the front of the truck, you know, a couple on the back so I can have some good backup lights when I'm backing on my trailer, stuff like that. But what we want to test for this video is, for those of you guys who either don't want a big 50 inch on your vehicle, you know, you don't have a place to mount it, or maybe you just don't like the way it looks, you know, that's not for everyone, I guess. And maybe you just want, you know, some extra light without the big bar. So we're going to test, if you have four of these things, you know, adjusted different angles, how much of a light spread we can get and how much light you can really get out of just four of these little pods. So I made this little uh, little test rack here and we can mount on the front of something and test it out. And this way we can adjust them all separately. You know, we can have these kind of point straight ahead down the road. You know, take these two, have them kind of angled over towards your ditches, you know, for deer, animals, things like that. 
and uh, we adjust them all independently, get a nice spread of light, and uh, go take it for a ride on something to see how bright they are. So, and like I said, it's just a you know, little test rack. Doesn't look pretty, but it'll get the job done. All right, I got my little test rack strapped on the front of the old razor here. Now, I went ahead and uh, decided to go pretty much straight with all four of these pods just because, you know, the width of this thing, I decided it might be a little too much to have the outsides pointing out towards the ditches. So I got them all pretty much pointing straight, and I kind of wish I had had them more evenly spaced, but that's where the holes already were in this angle iron, so I decided to go ahead and leave it there. But we'll go ahead and give it a try, see what it looks like going down the road. Now, you might have noticed how ridiculous this looks on the front of my razor. And I picked the width of this piece of angle iron, you know, based on the average, you know, truck width or car width, something like that, you know, how wide your truck might be. So, you know, of course it looks ridiculous on the razor because I just wanted to see what it would look like if you were to space it, you know, across the front of a truck. So we're going to go ahead and try that out, you know, and uh, we don't care what it looks like. We're, you know, it's going to look cool in the dark. So we're going to go ahead and try it out once it gets dark here. All right, let's check these pods out, see how they look. There's the four, four inch pods. And just for comparison, I'll flip on my 12-inch light bar I got on the front of the razor. There's the 12-inch light bar. And I'll try and switch them real fast so you can see the difference. So I'm going to switch to the 4-inch pods. There's 12-inch. The There's the 4-inch pods. I'd say the uh, those 4-inch pods actually look a little better than the 12-incher. So we'll go ahead and take it down the road and see what it looks like. gives you a ton of light. I can see really well with those things. That's pretty cool. guys we want to find out how much light we could get out of those little pods i'd say that's pretty cool we got uh, more than enough light you know drove all the way down there and back with just those light pods on and had tons of light in fact i'm sure that's a lot brighter than uh, your regular stock halogen headlights would be on a razor this razor has the uh, led headlights but i'm sure those right there are pretty bright compared to regular stock halogen lights so uh yeah that that's pretty impressive you know you put four of those on the front of your truck car whatnot and you definitely have plenty of light to get you by so i don't know what more proof you need than that i mean if you don't want a big old giant light bar in your vehicle go ahead and get yourself some pods stick them across the front and you're ready to go and uh, as always i'll put a link to uh, where you can check these out on amazon in the description below thanks for watching guys see you next time